In this video, we'll review the minimum system requirements for Red Hat Enterprise Linux 5, the minimum hardware requirement for installation in GUI mode is a Pentium class CPU and 192 megabytes of RAM. Generally, to study for the RHCE, I suggest at least 4 gigabytes of hard drive space. And you'll also need to set up a network source, as the RHCE requires that you install Red Hat Enterprise Linux 5 over a network from an FTP, NFS, or HTTP server. And that's easy to set up. All you need to do is copy the installation files from the CDs or a rebuild DVD to one of those servers. And shh, be quiet. That server can even be on a Microsoft Windows system. For this course, I've created a REHEL, or Red Hat Enterprise Linux 5 system, on a VMware server machine. Available from www.vmware.com, VMware server, in my opinion, is the best option for this course. When I prepared for the Red Hat exams, I used VMware Server. It supports relatively easy installations of Red Hat Enterprise Linux, and VMware Server can be installed on various Linux distributions, as well as on Microsoft Windows. To me, the big advantage is that it allows snapshots. If I change too many things, and can't remember what I did, I can easily restore the original configuration. I just click Revert to Snapshot. For these videos, I've installed Red Hat Enterprise Linux 5 on VMware Server in full screen mode. But if you don't want to use VMware Server, there are alternatives available. If you're using a Macintosh operating system, one option for virtual machines is known as Parallels, if you want to stay all Linux and not go with VMware. Zen is available and works well if you have a system with multiple or multi-core CPUs. It's not absolutely necessary, but it's a lot more realistic than what's called a pair-virtualized machine, and that's something I won't get into here. If you have a Linux operating system with at least kernel version 2.6.21, something called kernel virtual machines are also available. That's it for system requirements.